what's crack a in YouTube fam that was a cool way to start a video but it is Wednesday morning and I'm letting Addy out I'm about to go to work I work like a mid shift and probably got those puffy eyes on for you guys which I know you guys love to, to laugh at ooh that's that's sunny right there I got a good video in store for you guys today I think um, you guys probably know what it's about from the title but We'll get more into that later. So, and I've showed this in some previous videos, um, but I haven't actually talked about it. So, wanted to go into what I usually have for breakfast when I'm like, I don't have time to like sit down. So, what I'm gonna do is make a whey protein shake, and the one that I use is made by Ghost, and I use the cereal milk flavor. It's got 25 grams of protein. It's super good for like filling me up. Um, actually, I have that in a couple hours, but what I start with is one of these clean bars. And I believe these have like soy protein, which I know is kind of frowned upon, especially for guys. But it works for me. It's got a lot of like fiber in it and like whole grains and seeds and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I really like these. And then just some, some good old water. Hey girl, hey! Hi. What you got making for me? I already made yours. I'm gonna give oh. some. Let's go see it. Hi. Hi. Oh snap. That's a big chunk of meat. I'm also gonna have chips, but they're upstairs. You gotta go get them. Alright, so I just got off work, guys. I'm going to meet Cody and her mom for dinner. Um, we were gonna hit a leg day tonight, but Cody and I are just kinda like tired, and I got like a uh, early shift tomorrow, so I kinda wanna like get some rest. And then after, like because of the early shift, I'll get off early. So we'll, we'll be able to like hit a good gym session tomorrow. And then I got the next day off. So just kind of like having a good rest day. There's nothing wrong with that. And then we're gonna just kind of catch up on some shows and just do a little, do a little hanging out that we need. We, we haven't really had much time for that because I've been working some weird shifts. Um, and you know, that's important guys. You gotta make time for your significant other. Remember that, Dr. Phil today. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have uh, a burrito from Chipotle. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up today. I will see you guys in the AM. So, good morning, beautiful people of the world. It is Thursday, and I am running some errands for Eric. He is out of lunch meats and blueberries, which he's addicted to. So, I'm going to go get those at Costco. I really need some apples. I love having apples. So, yeah, here we go. Sniffing like it's her job. Well, I guess it kind of is her job. But does anybody else walk their dog and feel bad for pulling them away? Like, come on, let's continue our walk. Because when daddy gets home, we're going to the gym. And I've been super unmotivated lately. Um, I haven't gone to the gym in like five days, I think. And it's super unmotivating when I take a break that long. But we're going to go hit leg day today, and hopefully that'll get me back in it. Eddie's trying to poop, but she's got somebody watching her. I know, Eddie. Who's I here? In peace. Who's here? Go get him. Who's here? I 
tried to scare you, but I scared myself. Kind of scared me too. How was work? Good. It was a good angle. You are so cute. I see a treat down here. Uh oh. That's mine. Okay. I put that's the clothes away. A, that's how you get abs. I put the clothes away. What do you have to say? I'm so tired. Oh, come on. Ready to go to the gym? Yeah. Let's go. High five. You're taking over my vlog. Taking over for today and everybody knows it. <laughs> Comment down below if you like Cody's vlogs or Eric's vlogs. You let me know. All right. So we are on our way to the gym. Um, we're gonna hit a leg day, but I'm gonna we're not gonna show it because fast forward to tomorrow I have off and we're gonna get to the title of this video, which is gonna be like my my whole weight loss fitness fitness <laughs> <laughs> fitness journey. That's probably gonna wrap up today, and we will see you guys in the morning. What is going on everybody? Welcome to story time. Let's get to the title of the video. So I wanted to do kind of like a sit down little section with you guys just to um, kind of lay out my whole fitness journey for you guys. Um, I'm not going to go into too, too much detail into some specifics, but I want you guys to kind of know what it's been like for me to get into fitness. First things first, I want to have a little disclaimer here. I'm not a professional by any means. I learned things by doing my own research, reading books, watching YouTube videos, just following other fitness people on Instagram. So by no means am I saying that I know everything. I'm just saying what worked for me. So to start everything off, I'm gonna flash a little picture right here of my before and after. So there's that. Soak that in. It's hard to believe that that was just last summer. It's September right now, 2018, and the first picture was probably taken in July or August of 2017. I started off at about 190 pounds, and today I'm at about 150. But that's where I'm sitting. To start everything off, I'm gonna take you guys way back to when I started. My whole life, I've tried committing to different things. I've tried committing to guitar, I've tried committing to drums, and the point of me telling you this is people give up on things, and it's just a commitment, dedication, or lack of the two, and that was just something that bothered me, and one day, last summer, I just decided I need, I looked in the mirror and I was just like, I need to make a change, and I'm also tired of failing. So I just made the decision, I'm going to get in shape, I'm not going to give up. And if I do, like, honestly I was really hard on myself. I would tell myself, like, I don't deserve nice things <laughs> if I give up. Like, I am doing this. And a key thing to remember is I would not recommend starting this journey for yourself if you're not mentally ready. Like. I would honestly say like I was pissed off, like I was mad that I just kept on letting life go by and I wasn't sticking to anything and that just bothered me, which helped light that fire under me to start fitness. Getting into working out, basically all I was deciding to commit to was I'm going to go to the gym. I think how I did it is I decided I was going to try to go every day and I know that sounds like super intense but that was for me, what worked. Fast forward to about a month of going pretty much every day, I wasn't seeing results as fast as I wanted. And it probably has a lot to do with the fact that I didn't change my diet. But for the most part, I was just like, I'm gonna lift weights and do machines and just get to the gym and sweat and you know be sore from lifting weights. That was all I needed to commit to. But after that first month of going pretty much every day, I decided, you know what, I'm ready for the next commitment, which is diet. Maybe some of you guys have heard of this, but My Fitness Pal is an amazing tool for nutrition, I mean, and fitness. Addie's getting obnoxious, but sorry if you guys can hear that. It's, it's a really good way to track your calories and macros, which I'm not going to get into that um, right now, but 
I eventually got into that and I was meal prepping for uh, Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday I would well Sunday I would cook and then Saturday I would kind of have a cheat meal I would try not to have a whole day of cheating I would just try to find healthy things to eat so I was meal prepping and that is when I really started seeing like the water weight and like the extra fat just kind of come off a lot faster and I was meal prepping probably for about four months and working out um, trying to go every day so before I go into how I stopped meal prepping um, I just want to share with you guys kind of what I did at the gym so a lot of what I did was I would I would switch off between machines and free weights and I would always hear um, that free weights are always better and blah 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 but I would still do machines I just wanted like I said to do weight lifting in some way and also I started off with cardio every single day at least I think it was like 10 to 20 minutes and then lift so that was that was what I thought was right I don't know why don't ask me I just that's just what I did and then combining that with meal prepping it, it really helped shred a lot of that fat off I probably meal prepped from October to February and then I stopped just because um, I just got tired of cooking every Sunday and I have been tracking my calories and macros long enough that I knew for the most part how to eat balanced throughout the day. For those of you that don't know what macros are, it's the macronutrients which are proteins, carbs, and fats. So it's just a balance of the three. Now probably up until about June, I was eating in a caloric deficit which was what most people or pretty much everyone will do if they're trying to cut fat um, and lose weight from fat loss. Um, and I was trying to do that because I really wanted to lean out. Now June comes and I just wasn't seeing the muscle mass gains that I was looking for and I was still losing fat. And that was good, but I was like, man, I'm just starting to look skinny now. So I upped my calories a little more, still guesstimating because I wasn't using my fitness pal and actually tracking. But up from June to now, I have just been eating more so of what I want, but still trying to keep everything balanced. And fast forward to now, and that's still what I'm doing. So I'm going to reverse a little bit and there was a point probably about halfway into this whole journey where I needed more information. I needed to know if I was being as effective as possible and I wanted to know as much about how the body worked. But what I decided to do is one person who's been a big um, motivator for me is Christian Guzman um, and I follow him on I followed him on Instagram probably since the beginning of this and then I've always watched his YouTubes and been a part of Summer Shredding. But I also read this book here. It's called Bigger, Leaner, Stronger. And this has some really valuable information in it. You know, this book does not necessarily have all the answers, but it definitely taught me a lot. Between watching people and reading this book, I feel like it helped me a lot with form. Now fast forwarding to present day, I try to go six days a week. It's just a habit now. It's just it's just a part of my life and it's something I enjoy doing. Go back a year, like obviously it wasn't something I did for fun. I mean, you guys saw the picture. Now that is just something that I actually love doing. I'm sharing this with you guys because I know that you guys can do it too. Like it can be done. I'm still not to where I want to be. Like I don't have abs yet. I still have fat here. I still have fat, you know, all over my body, but I'm so much closer than I was even yesterday. But I still do live. Like, I'll have drinks, I'll, like alcohol, like, it's just things that you need to have in moderation, but it's still okay to live life. But, you gotta be strict a little bit if you wanna see changes. What I would say to you guys is, get to the gym, lift decently heavy without hurting yourself, and just change your diet and use my fitness pal and eat as, as good as you can and you guys will see a major change and guys it worked for me sorry if i was rambling a lot of that but thank you guys for listening hope you guys enjoyed that 
I'm gonna wrap up the vlog because that was probably a long little chat. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. Hit that subscribe button and then give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.